Okay, if you're not familiar with that tune, that's Sugary by the Grateful Dead. That's the tune we're going to be studying in this lesson. <clears throat> Great song. Uh, it's basically in the key of E, although it starts on B, um, and the soloing is kind of based around B and E. It's a good example of B uh, mixolydian or B pentatonic major when we're improvising over this uh, tune. Um, but it's E because it's it's E, A, and B are our three major chords, and we have F sharp minor and C sharp minor in there. Uh, so that's that's why I'm saying key of E, um, even though it's starting on on the on B. It kind of might seem like it's B. So um, um, let's get right into the intro, and we're gonna I'm gonna we're gonna study it note for note because as you know, if you've listened to the Grateful Dead, they play songs different all the time. Um, the, the intro I kind of took from, I think it's the Winterland live version, like 1974. I'll put the link in the lesson so you can check it out. And, um, I've also, and would encourage you to be studying, uh, the Dead and Company version with John Mayer playing, cause he, he plays some really tasty stuff too. We're going to study one, um, lick in the beginning, uh, note for note of his. So you can just get a different range and we're going to talk talk uh, generally about how to approach it uh, from a soloing standpoint. So, all right, let's get right into the intro. <laughs> okay, so let's get that far. So it's going to start on this F sharp, second fret of the low E string, and then you come down and hit the B, second fret A string. Like that. So we got... So you hit the chord, then you hit a B chord, like that. One more time. Then you hit the, the B again, and then we do this chromatic walk down. Four, three, two on the low E string to an E major chord. Okay, one more time. Then we go, so we hit low E string, then the chord, and that's E major. You're going to roll your third finger down to play like an A, like an A major, and you're just going to strum the D, G, and B strings, and then go back to the E. So it's... And if you want to do that little hammer on, on the second or first fret of the G string, it sounds nice too. And they do that some in there, um, not always, but some. So... So that's kind of the main 
um, thing. And you could just play that in the intro, and that, that would be fine. Or if you're a rhythm player, you could play that. If you're just playing it acoustic and wanting to sing along, that would be a perfectly great thing to play for the intro. But I do want to cover some of these little solo licks that Jerry does in this live version. So um, he does... <laughs> Now the second time around, it's so two four, and then and then the chord. And then we have this lick. So it's sliding from four to six on the A string, then four six four. Then six four two on the A string. And then the same thing on the E, okay? Okay, so that's what he plays the second time around. The third time around he plays. I'll see. Um, yeah. So it doesn't hit the chord that time. So it's a quick hammer on from four to six to four on the D string. Then six, four, two, open E. And then on the last one, it's. And that's, he's going to start up here on the four of the D string, quick hammer on the six, then four, six, four, six, four, two, zero, open E. That's our E. So the chord progression is just going back and forth from B to E. So we have, well, let's start from the top. Okay, so that's just an idea. Okay, so he, he played that that one night and he probably played it different every other night. Um, as far as that intro goes. But it's it's all based out of B B pentatonic major B mixolydian. Okay. So the main thing there. If we use your pentatonic minor pattern, but we start on B, so if like you were playing uh, G sharp pentatonic minor, that's the relative to B major, so that's a position you can use. But our root notes change, right? And playing, improvising over the song is all about hitting those chord tones of the B chord when you're on the B chord in the E chord when you're on the E chord. So right there I slid up to the E. That's that's the third of the E major chord. There's an E major chord. See that? hit the third of E major right there. One, two, three. Okay, so, um, you know, chord tone mapping would be a good exercise to do if you want to improvise over this, where you map out where the, the chord tones are of the B chord and the E chord. So you'd find the root, the third, and the fifth of B, and the root, the third, and the fifth of E major, and try to land on those notes 
uh, especially on the downbeat when you hit that chord. Okay, so that's just an idea. We'll get into that a, a little bit more here. Um, but I did want to show you one very specific lick that John Mayer does in this tune in a live version with Dead and Company, where he goes, uh, let's see. Uh, something like that. So let's see, let's put it in context. Let's start from the top. So what he's doing there, actually hits that note, I think. That's it. So it's so he's sliding up to six on the A string, hitting a sixth on the D string. Then he he's just going down that scale like I just showed you. Seven on the low E string, and then he slides up to four on the A string. And then he goes, and he ends, when the band goes to the E chord, he's hitting this third. That's the third of E, right? They do that a lot in this tune. If you listen to both Jerry and John Mayer improvise over this, they're landing on that third a lot uh, when they're improvising. So, okay, so that's the intro. So now we get into the verse. Um, pretty, pretty easy verse it's just e and uh, b and e again so and but i always do this they are pretty much are always doing this down down up down 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 up down 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 up down down down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. And then we're into this pre-chorus, okay? And it starts on F sharp, and this is classic Jerry. These little chromatic walk-ups to chords. So that's two, three, four on the D string. And uh, that's our root note, F sharp. And we're just playing the upper register of the chord. So I'm just playing fourth fret D string and barring the second fret G, B, and high E. Then we go to C sharp minor. A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, C sharp minor, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, E, two, three, to the chorus. Okay, so that was the pre, the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus, once again, two, three, four, chromatic walk up to the chord. C sharp minor. A, E, B, C sharp minor, A, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. And our little lick going into the chorus. Now there's one lick I want to show you that I saw John Mayer do that I thought was really cool. Uh, coming out of this pre-chorus. And so we're on the C-sharp minor. When he gets to the A, something like that, into the E. So that is 3-4 on the A string. He's kind of basically just using, an, he's on the A chord, so he's using basically an A pentatonic major riff. 
So you're going three, four to second fret on the G string, which is an A note. And then five on the D, four on the D, two on the D, four on the A, back to the E. Into the E chord. Okay, so let's play that in context um, from the beginning of the pre chorus. Sharp minor, A, so that's our chorus there, okay? So we, we do our riff going into the chorus. E, then another chromatic walk up to C sharp minor. Two, three, four on the A string. Then half a bar of A, half a bar of E, and you do it again. And you can always do that little thing like we did in the intro during the chorus. Okay, so after that they go into a solo and then it just it just alternates through the parts two or three times. So um, let's talk about the the improvisation part. So um, you can pretty much play licks over any of these chords. So say when we're doing the pre-chorus, we got the F sharp, the C sharp minor. The A. We already did that lick. You can do something else there. And then the B. You can do any of that kind of stuff using the, the, the corresponding pentatonic major scale of that chord. So a lot of the tune, you're gonna be in this area right here. You can add in that flat five if you want to sound a little more country or blues. That note as a walk up. And that note there. It's the flat third. Sorry, it's not the, it's not the fifth. It's the flat third of B. Um, otherwise, you can be up here. In pentatonic, the same, it's the same thing, it's just a different fingering, right? Or straight B pentaton, uh, mixolydian. You know, and, and then up here, Jerry's up here in that video, uh, the version that I did the intro on.
So you just pay attention to the notes you're landing on. You're, mm. you, when you're on the B, you want to be highlighting the root third or fifth of B. And when you go to E, you want to highlight the root, the third, and the fifth of E. Now, if you play in this position here, this is kind of like that BB King um, box of the pentatonic major scale. You're in B here, but it's also kind of the same as E uh, pentatonic major, because you got the third of E there, the fifth of E there, and the root of E there. And for your B chord, you got the root there, you got the third there, and you have the fifth um, F sharp right there. So, you know. Or. And you're going to highlight the chord change, right? Then there's. playing some sixth. So on the B you can do, there's the 13th fret D string and the root note B here on the B string. Slide that down a whole step and then we're on E. You could do the same thing up here. So it's uh, 11 and 11, G and E strings. And then hit your E there. Or you could do it part of an E there. That's an E chord, like a D shape, uh, but moved up a whole step. You just gotta find these uh, places. So it's all about just noodling around and finding the notes. And I may do a video where we put the, the actual live videos that I was studying on and we just kind of go through and we pick out some licks and we learn them note for note and just to give you some ideas of how to solo. But um, the chord tone mapping thing is a good idea. No, at least in one position, just figure out, maybe this position would be the easiest. You know. This position of B pentatonic major, seven, seven, uh, sorry, seven, nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, eight, seven, nine, seven, nine. So our, our B, our, our third, or our roots for B are here, here, and here. Our third is there, and there. And our fifth is there and there. So I know when I'm noodling around. Okay. Where to kind of land, right? And then when we go to the E, you have your root here and here. You have your third here and here. And your fifth is there and there. So I.
you know, I'm going up into a different, different uh, pattern, but you can hear that I'm landing on these targeted notes of the chords underneath. So something that is, is uh, invaluable to practice that. That's because it's gonna make you sound a little bit more like Jerry. Always try to throw in some chromatic stuff. Right there's a good position. 14, 13, 12. And you can land right there on the third of B. Now I'm on E, the third of E. You know, so it's just, it's just experimenting, okay? So there's your lesson on Sugary by the Grateful Dead.